CJ. Today I want to come to you with this beautiful makeup look. Get ready with me using Charlotte Tilbury products. My face is cleaned and moisturized and I have my um, SPF on. I'm starting off with this Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation in the new shade 5.5 which is tan. So yes, I'm applying it. It has a big dofer and it applies pretty good. Um, it really feels smooth and hydrating. It feels like it's, it's moisturizing my skin. It's really weird, but I really like the texture of this. So I'm just taking my makeup brush and applying it on and then applying a little bit more foundation on with this big dofa. I don't know how I feel about the dofa because if you're a person that's concerned about germs, then sticking the dofa back into the bottle is not really sanitizing, you know, but it's okay. I like it. So I'm just using my makeup sponge. And when, with this sponge, when I use this, I'm just tapping off and getting off of the excess makeup that's just lying there. You don't want the makeup to lie there. So now I'm gonna start with my eyebrows. I don't have any Charlotte Tilbury eyebrow pencils or anything. So I'm just doing my eyebrows with my regular pencils that I usually use. I use a few. Just using my regular Anastasia Beverly Hill like brow pencil that I use to clean up my eyebrows. I like to use this uh, rather than concealer. I think it's just cleaner, you know, to do it this way, in my opinion. And I'm just cleaning them up, making my eyebrows look more natural. applying some of the concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Magic Away Concealer and I'm just applying this using this as my eyeshadow base. And that is in the shade number seven I believe. Yes, number seven. <laughs> Of the palettes from um, Charlotte Tiberi. I'm using the first one is the Desert Haze and I'm using that, that lighter um, orangey type brown color. I'm using that as a transitional shade and once I use this to my, I blend this out to my liking, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Bejewel Eyes to Hypnose Palette. My good friend Bridget gave this to me. Thank you, girl. I love this palette. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just do this and then continue on with that palette. And I'm using that brown color. It is in the, um, it's in the part of the Happy Glow side. And then I'm going back in with the Love Glow, that deeper burgundy red color. That is so pretty. And I'm just blending this out on the outer corners and then into the crease. I'm gonna do this on both sides. I really want that outer corner deep and then I'm gonna drag the rest of the color to the, um, right into the crease and kind of blend that out. From there, I'm going to use the same, the Love Glow, the little three cross in the Love Glow, and I'm going to use the next to the shimmer, and then I'm going to um, finish it out on the inner side of my eye with the other shade. Yes, so I'm going to use all of that, these three. You'll see it in a few. Taking a clean, fluffy brush and just blending everything. You really want to blend this thoroughly. And I'm blending now, but I blend even more once. You know, I just really blend to my liking. Now I'm going back into that shimmer shade right next to the deeper burgundy. I'm gonna blend that out a little bit, try to make it look like it's seamless. And then I'm using the shimmer shade next to that. I'm not doing 
doing a cut crease. I'm not really a fan of my eyes, how the cut crease look. So I don't do them on my eyes. But this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm just going to spread them out a little bit and then go back in with more blending. I popped on some lashes from Amazon. I bought a big old thing of lashes from Amazon. And I'm just going to line my lid lightly. I'm not doing a big wing or anything. Just really making my lash where well, basically hiding the lashes or the lash line. going back in with that concealer by Charlotte Tilbury, The Magic Away. And I'm just going to apply it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, on the cupid's bow, and on the chin. These are the areas that I want to highlight. And I'm taking my damp sponge and just really applying this and just really making sure I blend this in well. All right, so now I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury um, Flawless Airbrush Finish Powder in number two. This is one of my favorite setting um, powders. I love this powder by Charlotte Tilbury. And again, with my Dip Beauty Sponge, I'm just applying it lightly. I do not bake. I do not like baking. It would make me look 100. So that is the secret to the way I like to set my um, under eyes is use a Dip Beauty Sponge and tap into it. Now I'm going back in with the um, Desert Haze and taking that darker brown and just really kind of stamping it along my um, lower lash line. Right in my, I guess it's called a water line, yes. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take that and just smoke everything out with the brush that I had where I used the deeper um, color. I'm just gonna smoke that out. Now I'm going in with my favorite, favorite um, airbrush bronzer by Charlotte Tiberi and using that right in Right, that little middle piece in your ear, I start there. That's where I really contour or um, bronze that area around my forehead, my cheekbones, my forehead, on the bridge, around the nose area, just to thin that out some, and under the chin, because I really like to make my face appear or look thinner, and this is the way to do it. really want to try to blend it in well. I go back in later on and just really blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going back in with the Odie But Goody Face Palette. It is the Glowgasm Face Palette by Charlotte Tiberi. And I use some of the blush I didn't show you here. And I'm using that highlighter in here. So pretty. Love it, love it, love it. going in with that lipstick with it's called pillow talk by charlotte tiberi and i'm gonna line it also with the liner that's called pillow talk i like this combination it's very light and nude looking love this and i'm gonna set it with the charlotte tiberi um powder again i'm going back in there with the number two um what is it called airbrush flawless finish powder i'm just putting a little bit of that gold um highlighter right in the um corners of my eyes setting it with that powder again and then I'm going to spray the setting spray airbrush set flawless setting spray by Charlotte Tiberi and that's basically it guys thank you so very much for tuning in as always I love you guys so much thanks for watching peace and love until next time bye